Hey everyone, it's Anastasia, Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings, and January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Now, I'm gonna arm you with risk factors and give you some tips to help you become your own health advocate. So let's get empowered. What are the risks for cervical cancers? All right, ladies, listen up. The risks are HPV, the human papilloma virus, HPV. Now, side little chase of a rabbit here, HPV is also associated with oral cancer. So I'm gonna swing back to that for the preventative measures. The number one likely cause of cervical cancer is HPV, the human papilloma virus. Number two, HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. Number three, smoking. Yeah, there's other factors, but these were the top three. Your OBGYN, you get a pap smear, they're checking for normal and abnormal cells. Abnormal cells are called dysplastic. So they can either form into cancer or what's really cool about your bodies is sometimes your body will just rid themselves of the virus themselves. That's great news, right? But here are the four preventable tips for you to take action for your health. Number one, when you go to your OBGYN, make sure that you get both your pap smear and your HPV test. So your pap smear is testing your cervix for normal and abnormal cells. But the HPV test, HPV test is different in the fact that we wanna know, are you a positive or a negative? Is the virus in your system? And isn't it better to know? Number two, the tip to think about. So if you are a young man or a young woman, get the vaccination for HPV. You've probably seen it on the commercials, but get the vaccination for HPV. Here are the age brackets for young women between the ages of 13 to 26 years of age and young men between 13 and 21 years of age. You're probably thinking, why 13? I'm gonna tell you. Remember circling back for oral cancer? HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. And before you even become sexually active, I would recommend talking to your parents, if you're younger and watching this, or at least getting vaccinated. Protect yourself. All right, number three, quit smoking. You might think, why? I'll tell you why. Women, because smoking decreases your immune system, and those who are of you who are infected with HPV, you are more likely to get cervical cancer because of that, and in addition, if you're around secondhand smoke. Why put yourself in that position? All right, bringing it home for number four, recognize the areas that HPV could become a problem, meaning oral cancer in your mouth. HPV related oral cancer will develop different areas in your mouth than oral cancer that's related to or linked to smoking, um, smokeless tobacco or snuff. So this is a conversation to have with your dentist, your dental hygienist at a health and wellness exam. Now, if this helped you, please let me know, comment, share and like this because somebody may need this information and I do hope it's valuable for them. Now, like this channel and join me every single week and until next time, take what you learn and make a difference with it.